Saggy, welcome to your March 2021 love reading. Let's get straight into it. I have done a pre-shuffle, so let's go. Um, I can see very, very clearly that you're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision, just like Scorpio needs to make a decision, but this decision is very, very different for you this month. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The Empress and the Hanged Man. So I'm getting hesitation here. I'm getting uncertainty here. Uncertainty about whether or not you want to progress this connection or, you know, take it to the next level. Um, it could be dealing with a Pisces. It could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus with these cards. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like you're unsure, you're cautious, maybe you're on guard because the other person is on the rebound because we have on the rebound quite literally here. But also the two of pentacles would suggest that the other person, you know, is exploring something with you, but they might still be a little bit entangled in a past relationship, okay? Um, so things seem to be kind of up in the air at the moment. You're probably thinking a lot, a lot, a lot about whether you want to make a move or progress this connection. Um, because right now I feel like you're sitting pretty, you're the empress, you have other options available to you. You know that, you know, life's good. There are other people who, um, are interested. And so this isn't your only option. Um, also, I feel like even though this person is on the rebound and I feel like they could have some issues or some, you know, emotional issues, I'm talking about them feeling a little bit bruised, a little bit beaten from their previous experience emotionally. So they might, might not be, you know, in a, a kind of place where they can pursue something with you in an unencumbered kind of way. Um, what was I saying? They do see you as, they do put you up on a pedestal. They see you as the empress, whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. But I feel like um, you like the attention that they give you. They, you know, they are infatuated with you and you feel loved and cherished in this person's presence. But just because there's infatuation here, and I'm seeing it in the oracles as well, you are very, very aware that you need to stay grounded. Um, otherwise, you could just get caught up in this illusion. And when someone's on the rebound, you know, you are vulnerable and it's a confusing ride and you know that it's not wise to rush into anything. I feel like both of you weren't kind of planning on anything to take place between the two of you. We've got unforeseen love. So it could be that, you know, you knew of this person, you were attracted to them, but they were in a relationship and not in a position to kind of explore their romantic feelings for you or vice versa and so all of a sudden you find yourselves um available in some way shape or form and there's that opportunity to get to know each other on a deeper level but that's where you know i'm seeing you in march i'm seeing you like do i don't i uh Look, there's the new romance card, right? It says, new love is finding its way to you. There's an opportunity to experience a positive new beginning. But I'm definitely getting that rebound type of energy because we have divorcee. So it's not like this person or you were in a short-term relationship before this. It was a serious relationship, you know, um, bound by the law pretty much maybe there were children involved so it's complicated i'm sorry about the noise guys it's like the motorbikes know when i'm doing a reading and they choose that time to go roaring past my window um okay 
let's move on. Let's see this person that you're interested in and what their feelings are towards you. Angels and spirits, show me Sagittarius' person. Show me Sagittarius' person and their feelings towards Sagittarius. Angels and spirits, show me Sagittarius' person of interest. And how do they feel towards Sagittarius? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups in the reverse. And that's like my separation card. So they could actually be separated. They could still be legally married to someone. Yep, no surprises here. We have the Two of Pentacles. So there they are juggling. They are, are not coming to you unencumbered. There's stuff that they're trying to balance. They're trying to juggle. Um, and not only do we have the Two of Pentacles, but we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. So this can't go forward until, you know, they have their stuff sorted out. Basically, because this is a card about intentions. This is a card about plans for the future. When it's in the reverse, there's a lack of clarity and decisions and plans can't really be made. And just like the two of pentacles, you've got, you know, this person holding on to two coins, juggling two coins. This person is holding on to one wand, but there's another wand over here. So it could be that they're still holding on to the past, but here you are. Um available to kind of explore things um but how serious this is going to be or this has the potential um for the seriousness is yet to be determined this person is feeling left out in the cold maybe they're struggling financially the five of pentacles is not a very nice place to find oneself Okay, so they're feeling um, isolated. They're in a bit of a pickle. Um, we have the hermit. So they're feeling lonely. Your person feels lonely. They're trying to go within to seek answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo. And like you, they find themselves in at a crossroads. Do I put an effort in here? Do I invest in this connection? Um, hmm. This is interesting. I'm just getting unreadiness. With the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, nothing of substance can be offered at this point in time. It's like the timing's off. It's like someone wants to offer something, but look look who they're offering it to. Someone who needs to take um, some time out to heal and recover. Okay. So, yeah. Look, there's a potential for a passionate new beginning, but healing needs to take place first. Okay. So, um, let's have a look at the love advice. For you, Sagittarius. All right. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Sagittarius's love advice in March 2021. What does Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know in love? Angels and Spirit, what is Sagittarius's advice in love in March 2021? Okay, so we've got a card that says it's impossible to know what will happen next. So just trust that each twist and turn will be a new adventure added to the bi biography of your life. 
today is a gift enjoy the adventure oh, we've got some lights flickering in here um so just take day by day and um embrace the unknown you know you don't need to kind of have all of the answers just enjoy the getting to know you process and again it's come out in the next card before i even saw the message it's talking about it doesn't have to get serious just yet you know just um enjoy each other play with each other flirt with each other um it says love is a game if you get hurt during the game then you're playing it too seriously so all you can do is respect yourself and put your best self forward in this game of love and only then will you never lose and i cannot make this up what did i just finish saying to you with the tarot it's not the right time okay it's not the right time to lock this in okay it says, just be grateful for the relationship you currently have and the moments that you share with this person. Um, and allow for healing. Okay. Um, it just says, sometimes we hold on to the past without moving forward and we trap ourselves in a low point of our lives. Um, respect the other person's wishes and be on your way and from there you can heal so that could be a message for your person who might be a little bit closed off and not you know in a position to open up their heart to you or vice versa okay i feel like your person is the one that's lacking a bit of courage at the moment and just isn't ready okay so I hope this was helpful, guys. Leave me feedback in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.